Wednesdays and welcome back. Uh, today I want to teach you how I do a song uh, originally done on the piano uh, and now kind of just focused on a live acoustic performance for the guitar. So that is John Legend, All of Me. Um, we do perform this live, I have, uh, and this version does sound really good. So I want to share with you how I do it. So uh, it's broken down into just a few different parts. Um, to play along with the uh, album version, you do need the capo on the first fret uh, to put it in key. So uh, it is a great song and it's pretty simple. So the verse chords are just E minor, C, G, and D. Uh, I sort of let the vocal melody dictate my strumming hand. So. Um, I, f I feel like the uh, ebb and flow, the way the song kind of sways, uh, does that. So when you do it live acoustic, um, that's how I like to, to perform it. So the pattern that I use is... So I sort of let that root note kind of ring out, and then I kind of rush the notes behind it, so. And picking at different, like, uh, intensities. So like a hard root, soft, and then that accent, kind of hard. brings us to the next part. Uh, so the pre-chorus is A minor, A minor, E minor, D. And I say A minor, A minor because he plays it twice as long as the E, D. So yeah, so it's A minor. Plays it twice. So that's a... Uh... So yeah, that builds into the chorus, which I strum out, and it is G. minor, A minor, to D, does it twice, So um, he does that little post-chorus, um, so right after the chorus. He does that really high-pitched vocal. It's just the same as the intro. So yeah, it goes right back into the vocal for the second verse. Um, there is a bridge, but uh, the bridge is uh, literally just the pre-chorus. Right back 
back into the chorus. Yeah, those are the parts that make up the song. So uh, I encourage you just to listen to the radio or the uh, album version and follow along just to, to learn the sequence of, you know, uh, when it goes into the bridge, when it goes into the chorus, uh, things like that. So um, what I want to do is just kind of uh, keep with you and just kind of show you that strumming. And I know probably in a lot of my videos, if you're learning, if you're searching, you know, how to learn a particular song, I'm assuming you know how to play the basic chords and the basic strumming patterns, right? So I haven't gone into great detail on how to do those things. Uh, I think I will make a, a small series, uh, just introducing those, introducing sort of uh, some of the patterns that I use and some of the um, uh, techniques because I, I like to pick with my fingers and strum. So I use a pick, but I also finger pick. So when I play this song, I'm doing a combination of both. It's so. I like to give these accents, you know, I just kind of pull my finger up. Uh, so I do stuff like that, and that's what you're hearing, but you can strum and do it with just one finger. That's a normal, that's me. Just pick. So yeah, um, I'll get into that that type of stuff. So um, if you have questions or, or want to see something else, let me know, and I'd be glad to share or help you out with any of that. So um, like I said uh, a moment ago, if you're searching a particular song, I'm assuming you know the chords and how to play. So I'm trying to give it to you as if like I wanted to learn a song. I would just want to see the structure, the chords, the and the order, right? Like I can do the picking and the accenting myself because I kind of like to do things a certain way. And I'm going to put my own little groove on it, my little style, little palm muting. You can do anything, really. There's no wrong way to do it. And I like to uh, really point that out in a lot of my videos. So uh, I'm going to walk through it one more time with you guys. Uh, and um, yeah, so again, E minor for the intro to C to G to D. And this, the pattern is... chorus again chorus So yeah, that is how I like to do it. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, feel free to share your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in.